Okay, uh, I have been teaching this class since uh, 1974. And uh, this class is uh, part of San Francisco uh, City College Adult Education Program, or you could say the Community, community College Program. And um, we have two separate classes. The early one starts from 9 to 10.30. The second one is from 10.30 to 12, Monday to Friday. And uh, both class combined together, we have over 100 students come in each day. And uh, Tai Chi is the, one of the oldest Chinese martial art. You, actually, it's documented back to 1,500 years ago. And we are teaching the young style Tai Chi. Okay, my teacher, great grandmaster Hu Yuan Zhuo, he's, uh, direct, he's one of the direct disciples study from uh, Yang Cheng Fu, the father of the Yang style. I'm actually his first disciple. And um, we teach the Yang style Tai Chi, of course, and I'm a second generation away from Yang Cheng Fu. So that's why we have so many varieties of the weapons and the forms that a lot of other Tai Chi school doesn't teach. So right here, we teach the Tai Chi fan. We have the Tai Chi sword and the Tai Chi saber. Now especially, this is a, the young family Tai Chi saber with the guard like this and the plate, a straight plate. And only the young family Tai Chi use this saber. Of course, the same set, we could use the regular broadsword too. Tai Chi Chuan, now is, uh, you could say it's one of the biggest uh, worldwide practice health and martial art, especially in China and Taiwan. Right in the early morning, you see uh, there's a thousand, thousand people practicing in the park. So besides China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Malaysia, in the Asia, in the United States nowadays, especially in San Francisco, you can see a lot of people practice, practice in the park in the early morning before they go to work too. And uh, Tai Chi getting more popular nowadays, especially in the 90s. I will, I predict it's going to be also going to be a very popular martial arts besides a health art. Because a lot of people understand Tai Chi is not just for health, it's a lot of practical part for self-defense, especially the push hand training. And uh, my team, I, I took a team 1987 and 1980, uh, no, 1990 and 1987, two years to Taiwan. We are the first team ever placed in the international competition. We got the uh, world standard second place. And uh, so far, it's hard to beat the Taiwan team. You know, they've been doing so many years. They have more people in the team, so they always took first. But my goal is to get them. We're going to be, the U.S. will be the first place winner uh, soon later. In fact, next year we go again. Actually, the Tai Chi form to train how to relax ourselves. A lot of people ask, how come Tai Chi so slow? How can you fight with Tai Chi? Well, as you know, an advanced martial art have to relax. For example, like American boxing and boxing, the coach always tell the boxers, relax, loose up. They never tell them to tense up more because only relax, you could produce more speed and more power. So Tai Chi start for beginners because most people are stiff and tense. So you have to start with them, how to teach them how to relax first. Well, what's the best way to relax? It's by doing slow. So slow, you could co coordinate the muscle, the timing of the whole body move together. See, a lot of people don't know Tai Chi. They do it slow like this, they call it Tai Chi, and using the wrist and make it soft. But that's wrong, that's not Tai Chi. Tai Chi is the whole body, it's one unit. The body, the body, the waist. In fact, the hand hardly move. The whole body, the whole body coordinate the whole thing. The motion controlled by the whole body is one unit. It's not just the body stop, the hand still going. You know, something too soft, they call Tai Chi. No, it's not like that. Because if Tai Chi just too slow and soft, then you don't have to learn Tai Chi. There's no value to learn Tai Chi anymore. Might as well just go home, do anything slow and soft, you call Tai Chi. Uh, right here, you see a lot of uh, seniors are using uh, the that's just a, a, a pole for the painter's use. The reason we use that is because you could put into a clip, a pole into about three feet and store it into the locker right here. Uh, 
Now, in the Tai Chi uh, long weapons, we have a Tai Chi spear and Tai Chi staff, but the traditional young family, they don't have a set. They just have um, the two-person techniques to drill only. So this set we borrow from the Charlie system to let the seniors have a chance to exercise different weapons. So I guess I'm the, the first one to open up this set to the public and do as a health art and it's more fun for the seniors. Uh, of, although you see a lot of people here, uh, they just follow along, but they have fun with it. So uh, I, I think it's a good idea besides the sword and the fan to give them a different variety. They have long weapon and short weapons and different varieties. I in, in fact, I intend to teach them a double sword in the future, but now they have a lot of sets to train already. If you have any question about Tai Chi training, you may contact me at this phone number, area code 415-665-2488 in San Francisco. And my address here is 925 Terraval Street, T-A-R-A-V-A-L Street in San Francisco, 94116. That's the zip code. And uh, thank you.